Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today I thought I was going to check out Tana, a new note-taking app that has been really hyped up lately. And I made this Tana test workspace and the app looks really good. It is an outliner app, so it is mainly bullet points and you can have other bullet points inside of a bullet point. Overall, the app looks really good. I have tested the mobile capture app as well, and it is really good. So everything you capture on your phone will get into this inbox and you can move it from there. I love having an inbox feature for the mobile apps. It's just something I like a lot. Anyways, it has a huge learning curve and I have been trying to learn it. I haven't quite been able to grasp, grasp everything, but I have a few things I wanted to show you. So let's go into my to do and the way you can tag or organize your different bullets inside of Tana, every bullet is called a node, so the way you organize your nodes is by uh, hashtags. So if I write take out trash and then we do hashtag to do, you will get a to do and here I can then change my status. You will get a to do and here I can easily just change it to to do, doing or done. So I can easily just change it up and I can also change the due date. But where Tana really shines is through its live searches. So you can make live search where you can filter out the view as well as see it in different ways. So this is cards, we can see it in a table in a list or even in a calendar which is new. Uh, the calendar function is something I've wanted them to implement so uh, I'm glad they finally did and it's been out for a month or two if I'm not mistaken but let's just look at them as cards and I can group them by status. I can uh, I can remove the grouping as well. I can reset my filters and I can filter them by due date. So this is my today page. So this is everything I have to do today. And if we take a look at another one, so let's just do this one. I only have one node inside of this one. You can easily do a live query and you can change the way they look so overall this app looks really cool but it has a huge learning curve then i get bored of my list here and you can easily just look into them so it is basically a node inside of a node or a bullet inside of a bullet if we for example use a book i can't come up with a book let's just say harry potter it was the first book I came up with and we can press inside of here a good book. You can also give this a uh, hashtag book like this and then we can configure this um, tag or super tag and we can configure this to add in different things for example a rating. We can do a rating by pressing number, calling it rating. Uh, and we can have it one, two, six. So that's how you make these uh, super tags then. You can go and make another uh, sort of uh, live search. So we call this books and we go into here and we press back is it backslash then we press ctrl k find notes find notes with the tag book as a list 
you'll get this as a list. Then you can change the views. So that's the best part about uh, Tana is the way the live searches work. And I know that you have something like this inside of Logsic as well. I haven't used that a lot. To be honest, I haven't used Tana a lot either, simply just because I don't like uh, I don't like um, um, outliner apps and bullet points. I prefer longer writing. Uh, so if we just do that once again, it's Control K or Command K on uh, on the Mac, and we can use it. Uh, look at it as a list and now you have a list of all of your books so uh, let's say we call this high rated books and I can then filter my view uh, by its rating so if we give this one a rating if you give this one a 5 I can filter it by its rating. So that's how uh, this sort of uh, hashtag and super tags and the live searches work. And it, it, it has a lot more to it, but I haven't used it a lot and I'm not planning to use it a lot. I just wanted you to know that it is out there. It will cost... I think it's $10 a month when it is out. It is in early access right now and I got access back in December and I've tested it out a little bit and you can do, you can also search through here, but I like using the live searches. And overall, like I said, the app looks really good, but it has a learning curve and I'm just tired of learning new note-taking apps and I would like to stick with mine right now. But if you're looking for a new outliner, this might be the one for you. You can have your whole second brain inside of here and easily find things through search or live searches or live queries. So if you haven't done so already, do check out Tana. It is really good and it has a lot of videos out on YouTube on how you can use it. So again, if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. It looks really good. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope to see you again quite soon. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel.